Hello guys and welcome to Hamamet. Let's go and explore this beautiful town in Tunisia, renowned to be a coastal resort. I was told by my hotel this is the street towards the beach. We just walk down here, we'll get there eventually. First impressions. They have the same yellow taxis as in uh, Tunis. And it's probably a bit busier than I thought. So population wise, I tried to get some numbers on the internet. And I believe Tunis has about 2.7 million people, the broader Tunis. And Hamamet's population varies quite a bit depending on the tourist season. Anything from 100,000 to 400,000 people. And they've got the same square cut trees as they have in Tunis, Tunis city center. And yeah, this is probably a good thing that I have got that garden view in my room rather than the street view because I was right about the traffic. It is actually quite busy. And here's a shopping center here in Hamamet. Kochka. Leather and carpets. If a carpet store here is anything like the one we had in Tunis in the Medina, I think they will absolutely try their best to sell you some handmade Tunisian carpets. And there's some local markets. Football shirts, there's Hannibal 10. And you got some shoes. And here's a local shop, supermarket. And not exactly sure what building this is. It might be a school. Yeah, so another first impression. Here's some beach stuff for the kids. A little shovel. And a wheelbarrow. And some swimming stuff. So absolutely, we are in a beach town. Here in Tunisia. Here in Tunisia, I have not yet seen any Western stores like Starbucks and McDonald's. But Calvados Coffee has got a very similar sign there as Starbucks. Citrus fruit for sale. And lots of people on motorcycles. And this is another thing I've also noticed in Tunis is the tobacco shops with a camel. Presumably a cigarette or a tobacco shop. More carpets. Ah yes, and there's the water, there's the sea. And yeah, just look here, very interesting. Some old, is it castle walls or some sort of fort or something? Just look at that. If you've grown up next to the ocean like I did, you absolutely get a smile on your face whenever you see water and the ocean. I have to say, even Walking from my hotel to here was a bit of a manic experience in terms of a number of people. At least in terms of how many I expected to encounter. But coming here, just look at this, how peaceful and tranquil. And lots of boats here on shore. Looks like a local fisherman there pulling the net. And just look at all these trees. Real sort of Mediterranean vibe. Around here. What a lovely break from the city, from Tunis. And it's actually been quite cold so far in Tunisia. So a couple of days that I spent in the city was uh, Mostly overcast, patches of sunshine, as we will say in England. But here is a beautiful sunny day. Beautiful sunny day here in Hamamet. And just look at these benches around the city as well with the impressive tiles. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> very good, very good. It's a nice city, Hamamet. It's good, thank you. And some fishermen over there. Look at all these, uh, look at these plants, pots, and a monument here, 
mermaids next to what I think are castle walls and an I love Hamamet sign the Instagram hotspot of Hamamet and what a magnificent sight that is as well what, what are you selling? Strawberry. Strawberry, yes. Pistache, caramel, chocolate. Can I try one, one of, yes, one of each of stuff? Yeah. Right. And then how much, how much is it? One, no, 100 grams, five dinners. Okay, yes, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll just try. Uh, so, where's this V? Pistache. Pistache, you? Caramel, chocolate, strawberry. Very nice. I'll tell you my favorite in a second. Caramel. And the caramel so far is my favorite, but. Let's see the strawberry. Your mix, mix. I'll tell you what, maybe a mix is good. I think I think I prefer the caramel, but maybe a mix of each is, is okay, yeah? Maybe a little of each. This caramel? Merci, monsieur. Caramel? Yes. Yes, one. And a strawberry. Yes, no. yes yeah, that's it. Very nice. See it's how much. Gram, yeah, it's okay, me. It's okay, Monsieur. I'll support you uh, for allowing you. me to film. And dinner. Here you go, Monsieur. Thank Merci. You. Thank you very Thank much. You. Cigarette, Monsieur. No, no cigarette, Monsieur. That's good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Here we go. So if you pick up a tourist brochure of Hamamet, this is a picture you'll get. Beautiful walk here along the seafront. Almost like Malko Bay in South Africa. Waves crashing against the rocks. Yeah, these walls. I don't read up on it, but I wonder how, how old this is. A rubbish bin, but with Arabic writing. Lots of mountains as well in the background. Oh, Monsieur. Showing off his bicycle skills for YouTube. So I've only got one day here in Hamamet. Decided to break my journey from Tunis a bit. Tomorrow I plan to return to Tunis to do some day trips from the city. And I plan to see, among other places, I plan to go to Sidi Boussaid and also to Carthage. That is the plan at least. If I put up those vlogs, then you know the plan has worked. But if I can, then do a trip to the most northern point of Africa, Ras Ben Saka in Cape Angela. I'll try my best to, to do that as well. It would be quite special for me, being from South Africa, where the southernmost point is, to go to the northernmost point of Africa as well. But for now, I am just enjoying a peaceful and tranquil setting here in Hamamet. Check out this guy, he's got the holiday spirit here in Tunisia. The coast of North Africa. Yeah, it's just brilliant to be here. Obviously, I'm from South Africa and this is North Africa. But like I said in my Greenland video as well, one of my Greenland videos, that regardless of where you are in the world, ocean is ocean. And this water somehow connects with the water in South Africa or in Greenland. And it's just unbelievable to think that. All blue and white houses here and a sign that says La Medina which hopefully will take us to the Medina I think that's what it means Bonjour Monsieur how are you? You're welcome Very good yes thank you is Medina this way? Yeah merci, merci. 
Yes, I live in England, but I'm from Afrique to Sud. South Africa. South Africa, uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes. Johannesburg. Uh, Cape Town. Cape Town, Cape Town. Cape Town. yes, yes, yes. Lots of cats as well. I come from Tunis, and in Tunis there's Tunis, lots of cats. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. This is the house from Alibaba. Oh, very nice. Alibaba okay, good have the, the patio for the house. The patio, okay. The patio. Yeah, is photo okay? Video? Yes, merci. South Africa. <laughs> Africa. Do you remember uh, 96, monsieur? Yeah, 96. But come, oh. look at that. I've got my football jersey. Football. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Play, but, uh, yes. She have uh, the first uh, game to be good, but the second. Denmark. You should have won. You Denmark should have been to Denmark. Good, yes. Very yes. very good. Yeah. But then with the Australia. Yeah, I didn't watch. Uh, I was flying on. I was on the yeah, plane. But, but, uh, but the plane. One yes. Zero, yeah. Yes. I, yeah. When I found out the score when I landed. Oh, oh merci, Monsieur. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Merci. Thank you very much. Sorry, my French is, is not good. I, I know uh, bonjour and merci. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh, who's painting? Is this? Just, uh, no, no, me. My, not the, you. The, the sun for my brother. Okay, very nice. Good yeah. amateur. And the tiles here as well is very. Uh, yeah, just for the old, yeah. Very, very good. Yes. Very beautiful. Oh, yes. No, okay. merci, monsieur. You come with familia. Sorry, monsieur? You, you, you come alone or with familia? No, I'm alone. I'm on my own. Oh, uh, alone? Yes. Have a look at yes, the, uh, the house. Where, where is it? Come on, come on. He's showing me another house here. I will be showing you one old house. Okay, thank you, monsieur. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a very old house. This one? Oh, yes, wow. Very good. Oh, beautiful blue and white color, yeah, sir. White, uh, white to the sun and blue go the mosquitoes. Yes. This very old house, about 800 years, 800 years, 800 years old, this house. 800 years old? It's each uh, house, uh, uh, one family here, one family there. Here be four, four families be here. And no one lives here now? Yeah, no, nothing. No but one, okay. Go, there's, uh, go, uh, wow. But so 800 years old? Yes, yes. No, he, he, he wanted the, the boat's house uh, to sell. Uh, oh, okay, yes, yes. But they people use it for their boats. Yeah, they make boats. <laughs> and uh, this is the fish uh, fish house. A fish house, it's yes. The, the, the people to be here before the fisher. Right. Yes. yes. And so obviously they will use this, yes. you know, to to yes, yes. wash, etc. Can I have a look here, yes, sir? Merci. Look. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh wow, old houses, eight hundred years old. <laughs> That's very very good. You want to see upstairs? Upstairs. Can I have a look? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, monsieur. Merci. Yeah, old fishing gear. This light has seen better days. There's an old bed. Or something. Well, it's got fishing gear now, obviously, but again, the tiles. The tiles are still kept intact. It's amazing to think everything in this house has basically gone to pieces. But the tiles, they remain. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Oh, Monsieur, it's uh, it's very different, huh? So, so who lives up? Who lived upstairs? Was it? Uh, we don't know the history. No more. No, no more. Yeah. Tip You want a tip? Okay. How much is how much is a tip, Monsieur? Yeah. I show you. You look. You happy. You show me. Me happy. <laughs> Name? Vili. Vili. Yes, Monsieur. Yeah. yeah. Salah, nice to meet you. Yes, all the best. I, I hope Tunisia will win. Huh? I think, you know what? I think Tunisia will win. They'll beat France. Yeah? I think so, yes. 2-1 oh. <laughs> is my prediction. Germany 1-1. Uh, Germany 1-1 against Spain, yes. Yes, so... Um, but I think, you know, and Morocco obviously beat Belgium. Morocco, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah, so upsets can happen, monsieur. Brilliant, monsieur. See you later. And thanks to our friend over there, let's, uh, let's walk towards the Medina. Beautiful tile work here, and a map of Tunisia. I don't know if Hamamet yet, but I think Hamamet is around here. Maybe, maybe south of Nabil. And you've got Tunis. I can hear some cutlery, so that's definitely where some people live. And you've got more cats. Cats very popular here in 
for Medina. Look at that camel letterbox post box and some beautiful art over here as well. We've got a few options now. We can either go down here or we can go down here. Let's go, let's go here and see what's uh, See what's down here, an immediately interesting door. And over here as well. Oh, look at fish over there. Presumably signifying this is a fishing house or fishing town. So I wonder what these doors mean and what they signify. If someone in the comments could let us know, that would be great. La Medina Mosque, this side. And some more cats. Is it okay if I pass? Can I pass? Oh, merci. Thank you. Oh, wow, another interesting door. Blue and white. Fish on this door as well. And fish on that door. Lots of fish on doors here in Hammamet. It's so quiet you can actually hear my footsteps. This is a world apart, of course, from big cities like Tunis. Even though the Medina in Tunis was pretty quiet when I was there, it's just, this is another level of quietness. And another cat selling some fridge magnets. Blue and white. And some flowers, absolutely beautiful. If I was a photographer, I would say this makes a pretty good picture. You might want to get the Medina sign in for an even better picture. Camels, North Africa. And some locals talking. And uh, a secret door. If we can't go through there, we have to pass here in Cactus Alley. See what's down here. These doors must have a meaning. So they don't have fish, they've got something else in the corners. So what do you think of Hammamet so far? Let me know in the comments. Fish on the wall. Some more tiles. Oh, this is very nice. Trees and architecture coming together. Galerie d'Arbiba. Cour de Miracle. Rue de Pay. It's one of the smallest street signs I think I've ever seen. Yeah, that is indeed the name of the street. Oh wow. Look at that. Beautiful arched entrance with some cream paint and white. And over there, yes, I think uh, let's go through, yeah. See what this holds here. Yeah. More fish on walls. Over there and over here as well. Oh, more alleys. There's a camel. Almost like the cigarette brands. Hello. Interesting. Hello, Monsieur. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, merci. Thank you. I'm just looking. Just looking. Nah, it's good. Thank you, Monsieur. One dinner, one dinner. One dinner for the magnet. Oh. Well, you got a hammer, mate? Yes. yes. A hammer, mate, magnet. Hmm. Tunisia, how am I met? Is one dinner? One dinner. Yes, I'll take one. Merci. Thank you, Monsieur. Thank you. Just get a. How am I met? You too. Yeah. YouTube? Yes, yeah, so if you want, yeah. yeah hello, oh. sir. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. What is your What's, name, sir? Khairi. Uh, Khairi. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, nice, nice, nice to you, meet you. Yeah, thank you, Monsieur. Yes. Nice to meet you. I wish you a good holiday. I'll give you one of these, Monsieur. You can go okay. and check. Maybe two, two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Nice yeah, to I see you. Yeah. See myself on YouTube. <laughs> Absolutely, Monsieur. There you go. Thank you, Monsieur. Take it easy. Bye bye. More tiles, more art, 
How's this for a sign? Exit brother shop. Again, if I was a photographer, I think this would be a very, very beautiful picture. Maybe I should rather be a photographer than a YouTuber. But YouTubing is much more fun. Walking around, making comments. Desert Rose. Look at this on Tunisian drums. Very colorful garments. Here you've got Medina. Fish sign and another cat. Another cat over there, two cats and a third cat. Hello. Four cats now. Five. Cats everywhere. Cat overload. Hello, monsieur. <laughs> that gentleman's just scaring the, the cats away. They're obviously looking for food or something. It's a shame this fish is on the wall and not here for them to consume. Sorry, kitty. Some inscription here. There's some German. Arabic. And some Dutch. Yeah, this does look like wood. And oh, that's a stone, that's wood. There's a fish door or something. Some more art over here. So yeah, you can see, yeah. Someone painted wood and stone. Oh wow, look at this. The writing's on the wall, but only on the parts of the wall that were still painted. That looks very interesting. I wonder what that means. Hey, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, hello, monsieur. Hello. Beautiful flowers. And again, this is a very Tunisian vibe, really, but derelict walls or houses in general with beautiful colors, it, it just works. I really like it. It gives a very distinct impression. I'm just getting lost here in the, in the alleys. Oh yes, look at that. How is this for an exit? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah guys, I think this is where I'll end my video. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Hamamet. And I am now going to enjoy this peaceful setting here. And why not? Such a beautiful day. Just want to say thank you for watching my videos. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.